33-year-old Marquise Hatton became the latest homicide victim on Monday in Jersey City, five since November 12th, with no one in handcuffs and no one to blame for the recent bloodshed. The state's second largest city has had 15 homicides this year by gunfire. Well, sadly, another similarity among all our shootings this year is that I don't have a single witness to any of them. And as you said, that makes no sense. I have video. We don't have a single civilian witness. Jersey City Public Safety Director James Shea says most of the shootings and killings are happening in the western and southern parts of town, heavily African-American neighborhoods. He says some residents assume the crime has no impact on them. And with others, there's a trust issue blocking witness cooperation. And the African-American community in the United States has a long and tortured history (laughs) with law enforcement. It's one of the only communities that has not always been treated fairly by law enforcement or been treated well. There's been a negative effect on the African-American community in the past. And we're today, in 2015, we're dealing with the legacy and the residue of 100 years of negative interactions with the police. The shootings that have happened have been targeted and uh, gang-related, and uh, they're not random shootings by any stretch of the imagination. The mayor and public safety director say gun-toting African-American men 18 to 25 and a little older in some cases, make up most of the homicide victims and perpetrators. Hatton served time for drug distribution, had five gun violations on his rap sheet, and was targeted for murder twice. You would think, given Hatton's rap sheet surviving not one but two hits on him this year and his street life, that circumstances finally caught up with him. But the public safety director says no. A lot of my shooting victims were also perpetrators of violence. And the sad part is, had we had witnesses who helped us catch them when they perpetrated violence, they wouldn't have been out on the street to get murdered (laughs) or to get shot. I mean, I think that's one of the components. I do think that there is no relationship between the police and the citizens. The Jersey City Anti-Violence Coalition movement says police have added more patrols to troubled neighborhoods, but it's about engagement that can lead to trust. And so I didn't see that community engagement process. I saw a police officer standing on the corner, but I didn't see them greeting or meeting people. So you have to kind of, you know, indulge in a relationship or a conversation to kind of start the process. It's going to take both of us coming together to deal with the hardcore criminals within it. For now, the violence seems to target those who live by violence in Jersey City. But stakeholders know that's no guarantee. Michael Hill, NJTV News.